Hey, so, you know, how you doing? Man, I don't know. I woke up and apparently it's August. I don't even remember July. <laughs> how you doing? I'm just a little bit pregnant. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yay! Yay! Quarantine update. Apparently, the six foot rule, hey, things happen. But yes, we are expecting and we wanted to share this news with you today. Yes. So, <laughs> so we can, let's start at the beginning. Let's start about, you know, how we found out. Uh, a lot of this storytelling is just gonna be coming from Aaron's mouth because uh, throughout all of these, I was in the parking garage, just chilling out inside of the car. That is as close to the medical facility as I am allowed to be as someone who is not a direct patient. So all of these grand reveals, all of this, you know, up-to-date news and like uh, having that sort of moment, all of these like pictures. Not yet, <laughs> not yet, not yet. I have to wait until uh, she the comes end. on out. The end. We are out of the first trimester and we, um, the way we found out, the way we found out is that I needed to go in for a well woman's exam. Mm. But I was not trying to go. This was in June. I was not trying to go because, hello, COVID. Hospitals I didn't want- Hospitals are scary. Hospitals are scary. Doctor's offices are scary. I was not trying to leave the house. Oh. But they had been hounding me and hounding me and sending me all these emails. You need to come in for your annual exam. So I was like, ugh, fine. So I went in, I made an appointment, I went in, and then of course they give you the urine test and they uh, came back when I was, they were taking my weight and my blood pressure and they came in and the lady was like, I have some news for you. And she was like, you're pregnant. And then she looked at me like this, cause she wasn't sure how I would take it. And I just started laughing. I guess that's just how I deal with things. I was just like, ah. She was like, yeah, for real, we ran three tests. And I was like, oh, that's great. <laughs> I mean, what did the lady say? Uh, no one's ever like really shown as pink as your strip before, so I needed to like run it again. But no, it just turns out you're super pregnant. Yeah, and I was like, super pregnant. She was like, yeah. So when that well woman's exam, we're just gonna skip that. <laughs> uh, uh, we've been tracking time by uh, months along in pregnancy or weeks along in pregnancy. We don't so, know what month it is. No, but I do know that we are at week uh, 14. 12. 12. But no, um, so basically that was the first appointment and then they checked up and they told me, hey, you're four weeks along. And I was like, oh snap, mm -hmm. like right on schedule. So then uh, they took my blood pressure. I said, everything's great. I'm healthy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, baby looks good. And I was like, Wow, for real? <laughs> so the funny thing is, for the first, when they told me at four weeks, I didn't really have any, I didn't have any symptoms. But then I hit about four and a half weeks and my boobs, oh my boobs. Not only did they grow, but they hurt like hell. I mean, they were, at first I was like, wow. I asked Jeff, I said, have I been working out? I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember working out. And he's like, no, he's like, you haven't been working out that hard like you usually do. And I was like, but my breasts hurt. I think that I've been working out. And um, th that's what it felt like. like it, it just, I became sore, sore, sore. My boobs hurt so much. So I've grown about a, two cups. I went from a triple D, which is what I was before, to an F. And I was not flat chested before. So the fact that I don't fit in anything is not fun. Okay, so symptoms, uh, weeks four through eight and a half. It was queasy, queasy, queasy. I never vomited, but I did. No, I didn't feel good. I just, I felt like hot garbage for a good four weeks. And then I hit about eight and a half, and the queasiness gone. But as soon as eight and a half started, that's when the headaches came in. I have dealt with headaches my entire life, but I feel like the pregnancy or the hormones or whatever has exacerbated it, and now I'm just. Ooh, I, I, I'm always laying down in the dark with an ice pack on my head with peppermint oils because I'm trying to limit the amount of medicine that I take even though the doctor said that Tylenol is okay. And now they're still around, they're just not as bad. I guess as I'm nearing towards my second trimester, the uh, symptoms are starting to ease up. Mm -hmm. So Either that or you're just getting used to the pain. Or I'm just getting used to the pain. Who knows? Human bodies are weird. <laughs> and thank God for him, because I am like useless once I get a headache. Useless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've just been like going into hunter-gatherer mode, leaving the apartment to just like 
collect all of these different things. It's been fun uh, gathering different brands of prenatal vitamins in the post-apocalypse. We have so many um, prenatal vitamins. So many different kinds from so many different sources because we don't know which store is going to go under next. It's true. And the first two types of prenatal vitamins that he got me, I actually didn't like. I'm like, Your I don't... stinky pills. I'm like, the baby doesn't like this or I don't like... Somebody inside here doesn't like these prenatal vitamins. You need to get me different ones. So we've got like four different packs of prenatal vitamins because I just, I couldn't take the real smelly ones. They were terrible. I was about this close just like covering them in peanut butter like I do for the pills from a dog. I was just like, come on, honey, you have to take these. <laughs> and pregnancy in the COVID era is interesting. So th being that this is Jeff and I's first child, he wants to attend all the appointments, naturally, you know. Unfortunately, because we're pregnant during a pandemic, he does come with me to my appointments, but he just waits in the car <laughs> since he's not allowed in the building. They do not allow anyone but the patient in the building. So he, he he's supportive, so him and the dog are in the car because that's as far as they can go. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hey, you know, new society. <laughs> Let's see, what else? Well, I will be documenting my pregnancy journey from here on out. Now that everyone knows I'm out of my first trimester, yay! yay. <laughs> um, I will now be documenting this uh, either weekly, bi-weekly, but it's it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. So, do um, you have anything to add? Uh, I mean, mostly, like, if you're on a pregnancy journey or if you're hoping to go on to it, just, like, try and, try and remove the doubt from your mind because uh, it'll either happen Eventually, or it'll never happen at all. But you, you can't Don't tell stop. Me that. You, you just can't stop. Uh, you, you can't give up. You can't lose faith. And when it does happen, uh, you can't be scared. Uh, the fear will kill you. Google will drive you crazy. So for all my ladies who are trying to conceive out there, stay off of Google. Stay off of Google. It'll drive you crazy because as soon as my doctor said, "Oh yay, you're pregnant." Come back in two days, make sure it's not ectopic. It's like, was that comment even necessary? Because then my mind started going. You know, it started going, I started checking everything, and I was like, Jeff, is everything gonna be okay? Every <laughs> single milestone is nothing but normal, regular, good news, but it always comes with a but and a uh, cliffhanger to the next appointment, which checks out for this next debilitating thing. Um, and we just got an NIPT test. We just did ours, and we're clear for a lot of the syndromes, Turner syndrome, Down syndrome, trisoc, I don't even know how to say that uh, word. Uh, that all of these word. diseases are within the one in thousands of range, and I yeah. feel good with those odds. I feel really, really good. I feel super blessed um, for all my ladies who are trying to conceive, or all the families or couples out there that are trying to conceive. I wish you so much luck on the hey. pregnancy journey. I really do. You know, it will happen for you. Hey, never been a better time to just like lay on the couch. <laughs> Uh, with a headache. But that that is our quarantine update story. Do you have anything to add? There are some really nice parking garages out in the LA metro area. Like, uh, cell phone reception is actually... You have to be at least three layers from the roof in order to be able to maintain a streaming service. That's the only thing that I have to add. <laughs> He's like, right. And oh. we are really excited. We are we are really excited um, to share with you um, our first trimester update. We got a little bean. Yay! Well, it's more than a bean now. <laughs> it's the size of a lion. Yay! <laughs> well, thank you for uh, tuning in and watching us, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay. And I will be starting our pregnant. We will, we will be starting our pregnancy journey. Thank you very much for pushing uh, buttons on your cell phone and thank you very much for uh, taking the time to listen to our words. Have a good day! I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and I hope you're staying safe. Bye!